Where do I even start to configure this? How do I know what the best practices are or the recommendations for Microsoft? Well, I've got an easy button for you, and it's called Orca. If you're wondering how to best configure Office 365 Exchange Online Protection and ATP, look no further than Orca. Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, he's Senior Security Architect at Microsoft, and I want to talk to you about this amazing new tool. All right, so what is Orca? It's basically a report that helps you get recommendations for Microsoft on how to best configure Office 365 ATP and even Exchange Online Protection. So let's jump into a demo, and I'll show you what this is all about. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is install the PowerShell module. So install-module-name Orca. Now make sure you're um, launched here as an administrator so you can actually install the module. Now I've already done it on my computer, so I'm actually going to not run that. And I'm already signed into Office 365 in my PowerShell session, so I'm just gonna run git-orca report, and that's going to generate the report. And you can see now the report is being generated. Now at the end of this, it's going to generate an HTML and it's gonna automatically launch the HTML. So let's zoom in here a little bit. And here we've got 31 configuration items that are configured uh, properly. And then we have 24 that have recommendations. And then we can see a scorecard of what those look like. So I can scroll down here to the anti-spam policies and I could start to review the configuration. Also go out and read the, doc the documentation for that as well. And here I can see I have the default quarantine period for 15 days, that's actually not recommended. Um, here I have uh, some items here about the anti-spam policy. Again, some really useful things uh, that are in this. Enable end user spam notification, set the frequency to three days. Uh, right now I have it disabled, which is not recommended. They recommend and setting it to three days. Bulk complaint level, again, it's default at seven, that's not recommended. And so they can then go through and recommend how to best configure this stuff. So as you scroll through this, it just contains all of that best practices or recommended practices rather, which I think is pretty cool. Like here's one of my favorites, enable safe attachments for SharePoint and Teams. By default, it's disabled. So they recommend that you enable it. Again, all really good information. This is the ORCA report, or the Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection Recommended Configuration Analyzer Report. Pretty easy to run using PowerShell, and then exporting this, and then just following the instruction. Okay, folks, that's it. There's not much to it. So please go out there and run this report in your environment. Take a look at the recommendations from Microsoft on how to best configure these components and do your research. And again, let me know if you have any comments or feedback on this. I'd love to hear from you. I will also put a link to more information about this in the video description. All right, take care. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.